What's going on everybody? My name is Tomas and in this one I'm going to show you how to upgrade the RAM on the late 2013 Mac Pro. And before we get into it I want to preface this video by saying Kingston was kind enough to provide me the RAM modules seen and upgraded in this video. Without them this would not have been possible. So a big thank you to them. So what tools do you need to accomplish this task? All you need is your hands. However I would recommend if you have a spudger laying around that you utilize it during this process because it allows you to open the RAM trays a lot easier. So we're gonna take this system from four, four gigabyte modules to two 16 gigabyte modules, thus rendering this system with a max capacity of 32 gigabytes of RAM. The RAM kit I'm working with here is consistent of two 16 gigabyte modules at 1866 DDR3 unbuffered ECC RAM. It functions at uh, 1.5 volts and has a cast latency of 13. So having been provided the specs of this, let's uh, do a quick little unboxing of this kit. Kingston does a fantastic job packaging their RAM and it comes to you safe and secure. So you don't have to worry about your modules becoming damaged in the shipping process because Kingston packages them very safely. Within the packaging, Kingston provides you your two 16 gigabyte DIMMs in addition to a warranty and installation guide. So if you don't know how to do this and you've referenced this video, you have another source of information on how to complete this task when it comes to changing out your RAM. The modules are very well constructed and have significant heft to them. At this point, I wanna warn you that you should be handling your RAM in a static-free environment. You do not wanna damage your brand new RAM modules. So let's go ahead and open up the Mac Pro. Before you do so, make sure you've disconnected all inputs and the power cord. Flipping the switch from lock to unlock and lifting off the top casing. After that, you've gained access to your RAM trays. By pressing the button with the up arrow, you've effectively rendered your Mac Pro RAM trays accessible. So go ahead and pull them directly out. You don't pull them up or down. They don't lock in in any way. Don't be afraid to grab some leverage and pull these RAM modules out. As soon as you pull both of them out, you are ready to add your upgraded RAM module. One thing to note before you insert your new RAM is that there's a little slot that allows allows you to line up exactly where this RAM fits in on your Mac Pro. Make sure that that slot is lined up before you try to insert it. On trays three and four, I'm gonna show you how I utilize the spudger. By inserting the spudger, you can lift up a little bit and it releases the RAM trays. Again, giving you access to your OEM RAM to go ahead and remove. Do not be afraid to pull with some force so you can get them out. And for the last time, line up the slots, set and secure your RAM, lock down the RAM tray, and you have successfully upgraded your late 2013 Mac Pro. But we're not done here because I wanted to see if I could fill up these RAM trays. I don't want to leave unused RAM trays. So I was like, well, let me throw in uh, Apple's RAM and see if this works. Very much like TLD Today's video when he did his RAM upgrade, he mixed the modules and was unsuccessful at getting the Mac Pro to boot up. The Mac Pro has an absolute fit if I try to mix the dims. Again, so you're aware you're not able to mix them, so you're gonna have to purchase the same ECC modules uh, across the board. So if you wanted to fill all these RAM slots, you would have to purchase two kits from Kingston. And again, pricing and availability will be linked in the description. And before I get out of here, I wanna take a moment to thank Kingston, because without them, this video would not have been possible. Whether it be a thumb drive, SD card, SSD, or some RAM, Kingston has got you covered. Please visit www.kingston.com for all your flash storage and memory needs. And while we're on the topic of visiting their website, Kingston provides a neat little tool that if you do not know your system specific memory. Here as well, you'll select if it's a server or a desktop. In my case, it's a desktop slash notebook. Scrolling down the page a little bit, you'll be able to find the right manufacturer, the specific product line, and then the actual model. After you've done that, Kingston populates a list of compatible memory for your system. They also provide you a little bit of a blurb on your system specifications. And here, I would have known that I cannot mix DIMMs within the Mac Pro. So I didn't even have to test it because Kingston is telling me that it will not work. With all that said and done, why would you want to use Kingston memory? Well, if you go to Apple's website and you are looking to purchase your Mac Pro, if you wanted to go 32 gigabytes, you would have to pay an additional $400. The catch here is that it's four eight gigabyte DIMMs. 
So all of your RAM trays are gonna be filled if you were to go this route. If you were wanted to get 64 gigabytes, you would have to pay an additional $1,200 to get two of these kits and get the same result as from Apple's website. You're gonna pay around 650 bucks. In my opinion, this is the best way to go. And I highly recommend that you do this unless you're an absolute crazy person and wanna pay an additional $1,200 for 64 gigabytes of RAM. Well, that about does it for me in this one, everybody. If you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, give me a thumbs down and let me know in the comment section down below what it is that I can do to improve. In addition to that, feel free to check out my channel and some of the other works that I've done. If you like what you've seen here and what you've seen on my channel and you're not subscribed, feel free to do so. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Take care.